Hi, my name is Frank White and welcome to another episode of Photography Tips and Reviews. Today I am going to compare a zoom lens against a prime lens. More specifically, um, what I want to find out is if the is this is a is an image as good with a zoom lens at 50 millimeters as it is using a prime 50 millimeter lens. So for for this video, I'm using the Tamron 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 um, zoom lens, and I'm going to compare that against the Canon. 50 millimeter f 1.4 USM prime lens. So our subject is going to be some dogwoods in the distance, and the 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 weather, the clouds are variable. So I'm kind of moving in and out of clouds right now. I'm under cloud cover, um, but without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So I'm already mounted up with the Tamron 24 to 70 millimeter lens, and I'm just gonna dial in uh, 50 millimeters on the, on the zoom column. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that I've got um, my image stabilization turned off, and I got manual focus turned on. And now I'm gonna find a focal point um, so I'm finding some, some dogwood so I can be consistent at where I focus, well, a clump of, of, of pink on the dogwoods. I wanna be consistent where I focus uh, both lenses. Uh, now, the, the lenses may look a little different because this barrel at 50 is a lot longer than the barrel of a of the Canon 50 millimeter. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab the 50 millimeter and show it to you. So just bear with me. That's the beauty of doing these videos without a script. You think of things on the fly. Okay, but as you can see, the difference is in the two, in the barrels of the two lenses. Okay, so, Needless to say, the prime does not have all these moving parts that the zoom has. So that makes a difference too in the image quality. Generally, when you don't have as much um, parts moving, then the, the lens can be a little bit more simpler, which helps it create uh, sharper images. Okay, but with that said, um, let's get started here. Now, I'm going to set this on, I'm going to set the drive, the shutter on two second, on a two second delay um, to eliminate any possibility of shake. Okay, and here we go with the, with the Tamron at 50 millimeters. And that picture is just made and I'm going to throw it up. Now, through the miracle, the miracle of video, I'm going to miraculously make this a 50 millimeter. Okay, now, as you can see, I've got a 50 millimeter lens mounted. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm, well, it would help if I remove the lens cap. So, I'm going to make sure that I'm focused on the same, on the exact same thing. And because of the burrow, the extension, I need to lower, lower my, my aim just a tad bit and bring that back into focus. Um, I should have the camera still set up on the same settings. So let me go ahead and make this image. Image is made, and I'm gonna throw that one up. And now I'm gonna switch back to the Tamron while the sun is out. Shouldn't take me but a second or two. So I'm not gonna use the miracle of video this time. 
just going to try to use the miracle of speed. I don't have a lot of wind blowing, so I don't really have to worry about dust getting in the sensor. Okay. And put the 50 down. Okay. And okay, looks like I'm pretty pretty set up on the on the place that I want to shoot. Okay, dial back in my my focus. And that looks about it. Okay, and I'm gonna make this image. All righty. So that image is up with the sun up, so we should have two images with pretty much the same exposure. So I am going to put them together in Lightroom side by side, and then we can look at the differences. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, I have moved the images in the Lightroom, and I'm sure that you can tell by the difference, the difference in the audio quality. But moving that aside, let's get started. Okay, so I am. Uh, this is the first image that I made with the 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 dogwoods in shadow. So I'm gonna grab this image and go ahead and throw it out. Okay. So these are the two images that we have that we are going to be working with. Um, let's go ahead and pull this one up. This one was made by the Canon, and this one was made by the Tamron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them side to side so that we can take a closer look at each each picture, and and I'm going to actually zoom in one to one and so that we can compare out the two images okay um both of them look pretty well the tamron actually look a little bit sharper it may be because it's a little bit more contrasty um but overall it looks good uh these are the dogwoods that that um these flower these bloom these blooms here are from the dogwood tree that I've actually focused on um, but just judging let's um, let's go back and look at the outside uh, the corners and everything looks good now now let me just go ahead and, and apply some some correction to both images. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut correct for the lenses for both images. So let's go ahead and turn the auto sync on so that we do whatever we do to one image, then we automatically would do to the other. Okay, and uh, and we'll go back to library so that we can continue to look at them side by side um, so it's really hard to detail to to discern exactly which image looks best um, I think the Tamron looks slightly better uh, looking at the detail in this chimney in the background even though that was not the focal point um, the the cluster of flowers uh, looks like some of the detail is just not there. Um, and let's switch to the to the Tamron, and I can actually see individual flowers right up here in this detail, whereby uh, they just look kind of like a, a clump. Um, kind of like a puffy cotton ball clump on the cannon, um, but the deep, the it may be that the Tamron is just better glass. If I had if I had made this with the the Canon 1.2 L, then I might be able to get a better a better um, image out of the 
out of the prime than I do out of the Canon 1.4. Okay, so I guess we've seen what we wanted to see uh, with respect to these two images. It's kind of flipping back between the both of them. Now, other than the the Lin profiles, I haven't made any other any other um, adjustments to them at all. Um, haven't changed the white balance or made any changes in saturation. The the can the Tamron does look a, a tad bit more saturated than the than the Canon. So there you have it. Um, you decide. So with that, let's go back to the park. So I hope I've been able to, to provide you some really good and useful information comparing the the zoom 50 millimeter against the prime 50 millimeter. Now you've seen both images, so you get to make up your own mind as to which one that you think is, is the sharpest, even though I may have commented on it um, when I had them in Lightroom. Um, if you like this video, please give me a, a thumbs up. Um, that's those thumbs ups are really important to me. And take a moment to subscribe so, so that you won't miss any future videos that, that I put out. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please leave them below. I read each and every one of them, even if the comments are a couple years old. So don't hesitate to leave that comment. And as always, guys, if you're gonna shoot anybody today, Shoot them with a cannon or a camera of your choice. And as always, happy shooting.